Hello everybody, my name is Nabil Asmat and I'm a fifth grader with my sister Sitara Aisha who just Hello. completed her 12th class and my second sister Shama Anjum who is a 7th grader. We three plan a series of presentations on data networking basics. Please note that our YouTube ID is to tell you our story. Our main target audience is smart and ambitious kids under 15 who are seeking to be either professional or young age itself. And the special thing about a video is that it's a single shot, means unedited shot. Uh -oh. Hold on a second. It was my friend. Sorry for that. It's in the silent mode now. Let's proceed. Yeah. What was that? Yeah. The special thing about a video was that it's a single shot, means unedited, short and simple for kids to understand easily. This is our third class and my first class, and now we are going to discuss about firewall. Firewall, move the file or the left wall. It's like a wall on data networking, but this wall is not like an actual wall. An actual wall blocks everything. You can't go past it unless you're some superhuman. But the wall I'm going to talk about, the firewall, blocks certain data traffic. In other words, it allows only trustworthy data beyond that point. It is a kind of data filter which allows some and blocks the other. You know most of the data traffic of the internet is encrypted. Encrypted means it's not plain text. It's scrambled with some keys. I hope Situ can explain more about keys. Sure, Rodan. Encryption means encoding the data with a security key. De decryption means decoding the same data with the same security key. For example, if your data is say 10, you know, I'm just giving a simple example, say 10, number 10 is your data, 15 minus 5 equals 10. So then it decodes the data, De decryption takes place. But in reality, it's not as simple as I'm saying right now. It's actually very complicated in fact. So actually encryption uses software and uh, it's, it uses its own uh, uniform algorithm to carry out the process. Back to you, Mono. Thank you, Sidhu. As you see in this picture, it's a home network connected to the modem and that modem is connected to the internet through cell phone cables as shown. Modem. Modem, you, as you know, if modem's full form is modulating and demodulating. Hmm? I hope Shamu can explain more about modulating and demodulating. Modulation is basically mixing your computer data with a wave. This with a high frequency wave. Now remember, high frequency means high energy. Now this is high energy because so that it can uh, be sent through uh, lo long distance. So that's why it's being mixed with high frequency, which is high energy. This is this carrier frequency wave with this computer. Electric pulses and it sends to the cable. Now this reaches the uh, it reaches the uh, switch. I, I have to say switch. And now what the switch does is it demodulates. What it does is it takes out this carrier frequency wave and gets the actual data and then it sends to the internet or in other words a digital network. Back to you Mono. Thank you Shant. So now I have another picture for you. Shant please please for the next picture. As you see in this pic, firewalls are implemented in both ends, both sides. For example this could be a Google web server and this could be a typical application of firewall which only allows web access and thus no one can have any FTP type connected to that server. But on the client side, this firewall could be like, act like a network level firewall which will block all suspicious data based on the source address. Whew, that was a lot. Can I have a water? Nah. So this is just a simple network of three routers. Or uh, two or three or four. You can see this IP address, once in this area, this network is one at 172.16.0.0. It's a class B address. And this is 135.86.0.0. That's also class B address. And this is 192.168.137.0. That's a class C address. Don't be confused. We'll have another uh, DK class. 16.20.1. This is the IP address you want to block. And 0.0.0.0 is a wildcard mask. We'll talk about that in the future videos. So this basically means there a single address. This single address. So now we have defined an ACO to block this IP address. So now let's apply the ACO. To apply the ACO, we need to go to the interface. In this case, fast internet 0 slash 0. 0 slash 0. Now she's 
Jai Hind.